bill collector. I know you're just doing your job. Don't mean that. I'm spending that on this shit. Bitch, I'm a dick like six flags. What's your dick? I'm gonna give her ass quick flags. Get a rich bone, no knick knack, but if she gon' let me, then I'm finna break up this bag. Hold on, yeah, I'm with your girl. This bitch is body. She thinks that you can still go for me at the party. I saw. Hey, well, how's it going, YouTube? It's your boy Quiet, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys the best settings to use in Chapter Three. I don't, I don't even, to be honest, I don't even know what season it is, but it's been a while since I last posted. It's been a while since I last played Fortnite, so I'm gonna be showing you guys the best updated settings that you guys could use in this season. So, like, first of all, let's go right into the settings. Here, uh, 150% brightness is the best, so then you could like see, like even in the dark, you know. Um, I don't use any of this safe zone, you know, I put it on like the max safe zone uh, High resolution textures and this both of these make sure you have them both off Because if you have them on it could actually decrease your performance on your Nintendo switch and you could get like a lot of frame drops like a lot of frame drops uh, and here You should you should have show FPS on so then you can see how many FPS you're getting and power saving mode like it doesn't really do anything it just reduces settings to preserve power but like it doesn't actually like increase performance or anything so i just like to have it off so then i have the nintendo switch playing at at its fullest potential uh here i do na west because like you know na west uh, language is english because i speak japanese uh toggle sprint i have this on on and i have this at hold jump by default i don't even really know what that is but yeah uh, I have hold to swap pickup on, toggle targeting off, mark danger when targeting on, auto pickup weapons off. Preferred item slots, here's mine. I have them on. My first slot is a shotgun, second is SMG, and then here it could be a sniper or like, I don't know, an assault rifle. And then here I have like heals and whatnot. Here I have reset building choice on, you could have it off if you want, doesn't really matter. Disable pre-edit option, I have this off, the reason why I don't have it on is because it actually increases input lag and I don't really want that, like sometimes like things do not edit uh, and it's just annoying having it off, or having it, it's just annoying having it on. Turbo building, I like to have it on, so then like a turbo build, press and hold to like build and place things, you know? Uh, confirm edit on release, I have it on because why not? Like, you could like edit like as fast as possible with the confirm edit on release on, you know? It's just better. Contextual tips, I have this off. No reason to have it on. Invert view, I have this off. Because, like, why would you want your view to be inverted? Like, that makes no sense at all. No, I have this off, on, on. There's a new setting, but I like to have it disabled. I don't, I don't really know what it is. Uh, 
okay, here are my HUD options. This is not what I usually use. Usually, mine looks like this. Mine usually looks like this. And this is how it would look in-game. Because the reason why I have it all the way to the max is because I don't want people to be like, oh, you're not on 30 FPS and whatnot, you know? That's why I have it all the way max so then they can see my FPS. But here's how I usually have it in games, but like for videos, I put it to max. Here are my gyro settings. Here I have gyro aiming on, and I have it on always, so then I'm always using gyro. That's just how I like to play. Uh, I have my sensitivity at 1.9, 90 to 1 vertical horizontal ratio. Uh, for Joy-Con gyro, I have it to the right whenever I play with Joy-Cons. Uh, acceleration, I have it at Legacy, which is basically what old motion control acceleration used to be before this update. Uh, flick stick off, because I don't, I don't see a reason to have flick stick because I could just flick my wrist to like turn the camera, you know? For example, like, like here, like, you could like flick it like that, and like, I don't know, yeah, like, I don't know, it's basically the same thing as flick stick. Okay, next I have advanced gyro options on, so then I could like make it even more precise to my liking. Uh, make sure you have it on to like copy my settings if you want. Uh, scope multiplier, I have it at 0 0.70, 0 0.60, 1.2, 1.4, 1.2, 1 I have this on. And handheld gyro space, I have it at player, player, standard, 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 0 0.0, 0 0.50, 5.0, 0 off, disable gyro. Uh, this, uh, I don't use any of this, but yeah. Here are my stick settings. I have controller auto run on, builder pro build immediately on. So like things build immediately, I don't know why you would want it off, but yeah. Uh, edit whole time, it doesn't matter because I use double edit binds, so like it doesn't matter how long or how short the amount of time there is on here, you know. Uh, slide whole time. Point one, reset camera axis, I have it on pitch, 0 0.1, vibration off, I don't know, I, it drains battery and I think it's weird. Oh, here, 1.3, 1.2 on, 43%, 43%, 14% uh, boost, but like zero delay, like no ramp time. Uh, here, 12, 12, 2, 2. And I have mine at linear. I have mine at linear. Yeah, exponential could be better. You could just experiment if you want it linear, exponential. It doesn't really matter. Uh, aim assist strength. I have it at 100%. You could have it at zero. Please, like ev everyone, like should have it at zero except for me. So then I like you know. Uh, here 40%, 15% on on. These are my audio settings. I don't know if you guys like want to copy them. One that you guys should use is visualize sound effects. Yeah, it may decrease performance like a slight, slight bit, but like it's nice to know where the footsteps are coming from, you know? And here are my binds. As you can see, I have an edit bind here and an edit bind here. Uh, basically, if you have two edit binds, it makes it, it makes your edits smoother and it like decreases your input delay. Uh, and these are my build controls, edit controls. Yeah, I use A to edit, ZR to select, ZL to confirm, R to reset. Ability controls, you guys can copy these if you want. And my dead zone. Uh, here are my account and privacy settings. I don't know why you guys would want to copy this, but like, I don't know. But yeah, uh, that's basically it. That's like all my settings. Uh, and here, proof I'm on the Nintendo Switch. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'm gonna start posting consistently. I'm gonna start posting again because it's summer. So yeah, expect more posts in the future. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing like Nintendo Switch or like PC gameplay. I don't know. We'll see. But I'll try to put out as much content as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. You